Hello everyone, it's Crypto.co. Welcome back and today we will talk about the Bitcoin and the whole market situation. Market is dumping down, bleeding and you are getting so scared and afraid of uh, these kind of red candles. I know these kind of red candles are so dangerous and uh, like um, it can lead to the sleep last night. So we will talk in detail that is it actually... Uh, anything to worry about or is just a normal correction or the market or bitcoin is going to the 500 dollar or what it is this is the important thing let's start guys and uh, before starting video make sure to subscribe my channel and press the bell icon turn on the notification and easy guys no no worry easy easy just cool down and you can subscribe and join my telegram channel the link in the comment section and let's start the video the 12 hour frame and here you can see the bitcoin is dumping down right now this is the important support level today i shared in my telegram group that uh, 41,200 is the support level we have to hold here we will check it out how strong it is last time uh, 11 December last time you can see we bounce from here then we again bounce from here then again bounce from here then again a big dip and then a quick buyback then again and now here you can see the coin is doing the similar thing like again going to test that important level okay guys remember this if we lose that important support level and close below this area so there would they're gonna be a very lengthy lengthy uh you can say uh bearish market okay so i'm not expecting any big thing like we can expect a break below this area it doesn't mean i'm not expecting a downside we can break but a quick wick guys a quick wick like toward the 40 uh 40, or even we can go uh go down toward the 39 500 and then bounce back quickly and then reclaim that level and then have a consolidation here in this zone okay so this could be the trap or this could be the shakeout to liquidate or to reset the whole market so this is my thought and uh, last time you can see that a flat red candle here and then another green candle upside again we are making the similar candle here you can see i'm gonna zoom in to show you yes here if you can see this candle guys okay the la and this candle and this candle look so similar last time and then whole market pumped a high toward like fully retrace that candle upside and now still we are again at reaching the important support level if we lose that area guys the next level would be anything but a wick quick wick down like this i'm expecting because we have to hold this area otherwise it will become a resistance and it will take a lot of time to break that resistance over 40,000 because the price remains here for the few weeks or you can see here okay this uh, once we uh, go down below this area this would be the resistance guys right now it is a spot and then we need a, uh, many attempts to break that uh, resistance upside like this then again and again and it will take a lot of time this is a 12 hour frame guys and we don't have much time market has to pump within the next two three months again just indicated to be reset and another thing i'm going to share with you that rsi of the btc uh, on a 12 hour frame is already reaching at its, uh, its lowest level of a 36 guys even we can expect a uh, um, one more wick down toward the 39 or 37 but the quick wick guys okay so if you are uh, doing a uh, future trading guys i think uh, avoid the high leverage or something like this and this is the uh, exceptional and optional thing like uh, uh, to be on a safe side i'm just sharing this thing otherwise i'm not expecting much downside or even a closing below this area why closing okay here now we will go to the one day chart and we will see now you now you can see while i'm making a video okay the price little bit again you can see bounce back from that buyback is coming uh here on the one day chart this candle now again this is a three day chart on a three day 
everything is looking same to me but the volume sell volume is increasing so we can expect a more downside but the quick wick that uh, uh, would be a temporary wick down okay and uh, here you can see on a weekly guys on a weekly we are still in this range above the 41 and we are holding that range from the one two three four five six seven weeks guys okay and uh, i think we should have to hold if in in a case we lose that area guys the price will dump down i will remove this mess from the chart to show you uh what's happening on this here you can see okay and uh, you can see guys if we lose this area then there will there would be a quick wick down like this toward this area guys at 38 500 and then we have to bounce from here okay this is uh, optional i'm not expecting much downside i think we should have to hold this why now we will go to the monthly frame guys okay here a monthly we got the big rejection okay if this is a true then uh, the, the, right now there is still a 13 days uh, left to close that candle and we have to watch the closing of this candle this really does matter otherwise if we go down here we can expect a wick down toward this area maximum at here you can see we have to hold that area of 39 or 38 and then we have to bounce in some consolidation here for one two months then all will started performing uh, like uh, within the next two months then then BTC will start moving upside uh, near to the hallway and then upside. Okay, so here is the whole scenario on a monthly, weekly, hourly, everything. I didn't see anything wrong with the Bitcoin. This is 2024. We have to go upside, guys. So every dip is just for the buy, buy the dip. Thank you, guys. Here was my thought and analysis about the whole market and the Bitcoin. If you like my video, make sure to subscribe. <sighs>